And welcome back to Cigar Time, the world's most viewed show all about premium cigars. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. I knew you'd all it is, agree. Isn't it? Yeah. I think it is. And, and be good. as an exciting time happening in Philadelphia, or the Philadelphia area, New Jersey, Delaware, wherever. What's happening in Philadelphia? Well, the Eagles in a couple oh, of weeks are God. going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah right. No. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> no. 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 We what are we year are you in? in? 2001? They didn't win. Actually, four. <laughs> was it? No, Eight, it was four. one. Four. When they went to this, when they went. Four. Eight. It was four. It was like a bad day. It was 2001. I thought they were going all the way. That's when they went with the Rams, and that's when McNabb was playing. I remember when I first went all the way. It was 2001. We'll look at it. And they played the Patriots. And it was not. They went to Super Bowl with the Rams. They can't. They're in the same division. But that's okay. They're in the same conference. That's okay. All right. Okay. Well, whatever. No, the you know what's up? Oh, it was over there then at the Rams thing. Uh, hello, we have a, like a Still cigar show to do here. Oh, wait, yes, wait. I want to know about the hat. What's the deal with the hat? Yeah, what's what going on with the hat? What do you want to know about the hat? I told you the deal with the hat is Art is in training to be out in the fields with me. Me? And Are you need a hat. Me? You can't go he out in the fields without go a hat. Well, I do. I, I go between my home, I go between my office, and I go between the bank. And, and the barbecue. Bar I go to the barbecue place. Muscles. I go to Muscles on Wednesday night. So I have like an active oh, social life. Oh, you walk night. a whole total 50 place. feet. I go to India once in a while, a buffet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, I have like a real life. You want to really life. know why? Yes. I would have asked. Well, I got to tell you. It's not what you guys think at all. And I've heard the various little titillating comments. What it really is, I was in a store. A viewer came up to me and said he's got one of those big screen, high definition, where you see every pimple, wart, girl's underwear, oh, whatever. Oh, God, no. Oh, and he man. said to me that the <laughs> shine, the shine off the top of my head, because I'm semi-bald, you know, unlike, Semi unlike other people that are totally bald, they had a receiving hairline. Uh, <laughs> receiving? Did you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> she said receiving. So I decided, it. as we try to be responsive to our viewers' needs, I figured I would stop blinding the poor guy and put the hat on. I think it actually looks pretty good. Like, oh, you were all supposed to say, yeah, I look Yeah, good. it looks oh, very yeah, nice. Right, it looks very good. slimming in the face. I see a lot of enthusiasm in there. Very Mike, slimming. it looks great. I'm a hat Mike, sandwich. Thank you. Oh, my God, we have <laughs> another woman here. I'm so happy. I'm just getting ready to get to that. I'm so sick like of this that. testosterone. We are, I need some we are estrogen. very, uh, very happy <laughs> to <laughs> reduce the no, testosterone level just a little sandwich. today. <laughs> we have with us Ms. Robin Schechter, who is the East Coast Regional Sales Manager for Except Bill I've got to tell you, though, it's oh. Robin Parsons now. Yeah, she oh, it's Robin she Schechter. Congratulations. Parsons. Congratulations. Right. Oh, now you made oh, all the I men had. jealous. Oh, I ditched that last night. <laughs> and, I, and I might add, before we started shooting, I found out that the honeymoon phase is still intact. Yeah, we're good. She said her husband is perfect. Aww. She did. Yeah. She did say that. Yeah. Give it a year. <laughs> give it a year. A year? Boy, are you no. opti optimist. No, I don't mean give the marriage a year. I mean give it a year and see if he's still perfect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the marriage, I'm sure, will be fine. He hasn't been not perfect yet, so we're good. Okay. okay. You don't mind if I get back to the cigar yeah. for a minute or two, That's right? That's very sweet. Can, we can start the, the Laurel and Hardy portion Stop. of the yeah. program later. Later. Can, can, we, anyway. can we talk about a cigar and smoke one? Yes. He's starting to shake. He's getting the shakes. Your water. Robin, in our capacity as, as the sales manager in the area that encompasses our stores in this area where we're shooting the show, uh, has uh, an interesting career path to get to uh, her position. She works for a company, Villager Cigars, Villager Tobacco. What is the official name of the company? Villager Cigars North Vill America. Uh, Villager Cigars North America, okay. Mm -hmm. Who has been making cigars for 126 years. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, who? <laughs> well, Vilger, uh, is their claim to fame for most of the 126 years was what we call a dry cure cigar. It's a cigar, either they, several models, Brasilia or Sumatra, that are what dry cure means they don't have to be humidified. And I'll let Robin explain a lot more about it. And in just the last few years, they've gotten into the premium cigar business. And of course, again, I'll let Robin explain more about those. But uh, why don't you explain the first cigar we're going to be smoking today? Okay. So that certain people oh, in the panel God. will not have a panic attack and be able to... <laughs> 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 T's got one right. job on the show. <laughs> and he took my job. job. No, it's okay. Oh, no. All right, no, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 
Why don't you, why don't you tell us? Well, I, I apologize. I he will not be here next week. Why don't you tell us about the cigar we're going to smoke, and then Robin will will elongate the uh, answer. Let me get you. Something okay, uh, if I get this right, excuse me if it's wrong. This is the Cuellar Creme. Perfect. Ah, Creme. I did it right. Uh, this was dedicated uh, to the uh, Spanish conquistador named Diego Velasquez de Cuellar. I thought it was the baseball pitcher, Mike Cuellar. No. Oh, well. uh, the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Connecticut, which Paul is going to love. The bind is a Lajero, and the filler is a Criollo 98. All of Paul's favorites. So let's see if this is good, Paul. Let's light it up. These are all of Paul's favorites, mm -hmm. and I might add, a Lajero binder is extremely unusual yes. in this business. Yeah. yeah. Let's see I, I, the, uh, that's what I. Yeah, I can't I wait. I applaud you for trying something unique. <laughs> yeah, Robin, nice job. Yeah. Yep. Good job, sure. No. Wow. I wish I could take credit for it, but no. <laughs> no. It, isn't not isn't Villager one of the oldest and largest manufacturers in Europe? Yes, actually, oh, we're yeah, one yeah. of the oldest family-run companies I in the in the world today. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Cool. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, family-run, currently run by um, Henrik Villager, and our international um, counterpart, our parent company out of Switzerland. We have factories in Switzerland and Germany, and um, Villager Cigars North America, who I work for. Um, gears more of our premium lines toward the U.S. market, so you're not getting a European cigar like with some of our um, machine-made cigars, but you're getting um, something a little more robust. Um, even our uh, Tobajaro, which is a Brazilian cigar, uh, which is sold around the world, is tweaked for the U.S. market to have more uh, Lajero, stronger Maduro uh, wrapper on it as well. My uh, favorite is the uh, Culebra. And she loves the yeah. I do. I had them out yeah, yesterday. Right and I, people, know. One I right know. There. I had them out yesterday, and I'm everyone was an asking for them. to make sure it stays out there. But it's crummy. Uh, it's not crummy. Not. It's, 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 it's a Oh, it's crummy. I'm sorry. I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> Everybody's oh, saying it's oh, it. crummy. Oh. We probably <laughs> have. Is it cr what did I say? It. Crumma. Uh, Crumma. Oh. we we have probably have one of the most. It's the brand that I know most that people will chop up what. It, how, how a word's supposed to be pronounced. It's easy. You know, uh, I get villager all the time, but it, it's hooked on phonics. It's with an I and not an A, so it's villager. It's just like a last name being mispronounced. People did it when my last name was Schechter. Yeah. I got Schechter and Snackter all the time. Snackter? <laughs> Snackter? I got all kinds I, I don't, of stuff. Don't go any further with that. Yeah. Come on. Fun. It's a family show. It's Catholic hour. <laughs> Kids are watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of family and all that, how did you know an attractive young woman like yourself get mixed up in cigars, which is primarily a male-dominated business? Well, I, I had a little knowledge of cigars prior to coming into the industry because that can I be dangerous. It can be. I I actually used it as a way to help myself quit smoking so many cigarettes, and I started off smoking some Macanudos and um, Prince Albert Vanilla Tips when I was. Uh, underage uh, no. and all I all it really did was all it really did was uh, gear my interest more towards tobacco and now I smoke everything from pipes to cigars and hookahs and cigarettes and you name it I run the gamut if it's legal I'm on it um, <laughs> Been to Colorado? Um, no <laughs> I'm a Pennsylvanian mm. by nature um, so I guess we'll wait and see on that one and uh, waiting a long time I, I actually worked uh, throughout high school at a Halloween adventure where um, I, I was right next to a cigar shop and I'd go in and talk all the things you're not supposed to talk about in a cigar shop like politics and religion and he <laughs> offered me a job and uh, from there I spent two years uh, working retail for, the, for a company that was in Philly and uh, went on to another company, the, a bigger company uh, where I did uh, senior sales and inventory control and then I uh, went on to run a chain of 26 stores and uh, ran myself into the ground and came to Villiger. I figured um, it took me the better part of 14 years to find a company that I believed in enough with the history and growth potential uh, that, that would get me to go on the road and uh, you know kill some miles and burn some pavement. Smoke a long way. And I know you're on it too. I'm on it. You're on it. I'm on it. So tell us a little bit more about the uh, crema that we're smoking now. 
Well, I'll give you a little, little family history on the blend that we're smoking today. The um, Cuellar Creamy Connecticut is actually in a series of uh, three new cigars that our company came out with at the I right before IPCPR, right around at April of That's uh, our last trade year. show, our annual trade show. Yep. Uh, which took me a, a good number of years to remember those letters because everybody chops that up. It used to be the RTDA, RTDA, which was really simple. Exactly. Um, so, but this year we were lucky enough to work with uh, a gentleman named Hochi Blanco um, mm -hmm. from La Palma, uh, and he's doing our three new blends, the Cuellar Creamy, which we're going to be smoking now, as well as our Trill Cigars and Cabarete Cigars, one of which is a Habano, the other is a Box Press Maduro. Um, this one in particular uses an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. We were really lucky to gain access to some of Hochi's um, private farms where he's done a lot of different seed hybrids and, and uh, varietals uh, with Criollo 98 and Corojo tobaccos uh, in the three new lines, which is kind of rare and cool. Uh, and just like he was saying, the, this uh, cigar here has a Piloto Lajero um, binder, which gives it a little more kick so you're not looking at a straight mild cigar, or you're looking no, at something a little more robust and creamy on the oh. more medium side of a mild, mm -hmm. depending on what you smoke. If you're smoking real hardcore heavy, heavy hitter cigars every day, it might be a little bit mild, but if you're used to smoking like Cameroon or um, a Connecticut uh, cigar, it might be on the more medium side of the flavor profile. I might want to say right here that the Vilger line of cigars, both Dry Cure and their premium line, which encompasses more than just the one model here, we have several models which, which uh, Robin will tell you about, are not only available at the all ten of the Cigar Cigar location, but also hopefully in your neighborhood brick and mortar stores as well, which we implore you to support, especially this time of year when it's cold and snowy outside, to, to go to your neighborhood. You know, hopefully one of our stores is near you, but if not, please go to one of the neighborhood brick and mortar stores, duck in there, spend time in their lounge, patronize them, and then everybody's happy. So, if they don't have it, ask the person behind the counter to. Uh, yeah, call Robin. Call Robin. Robin. Yeah, she'll bring them in. So, I think it's time for our first impressions. Who wants to start? I'll Ladies first. Yeah, I'll go first. You, you um, can't. You can't rate your own cigar. I have impressions. <laughs> <laughs> um, you make a great I it. like <laughs> the filler in the binder. I think it's very smooth. I'm just not in love with the wrapper. I, I, I don't, no, I she found, doesn't like, she doesn't like I found wrapper. I don't like Ecuadorian anything. Whoa, Whoa stay away from Paul. Sorry, Paul. Right. It's mostly kinetic. You don't like kinetic wrappers. No, no, no I don't not. like anything Ecuadorian. Wow. I really don't. I'm not a huge Ooh, fan of a lot of Ecuadorian. I'm not. Stuff, I, it's, it's just, just something with the. It's just. A, it has a distinct taste, and, and I, I don't it's think it's Connecticut because there's certain Connecticut that I like. That I've liked. Yeah. This okay. actually mm -hmm. threw me off on my first um, mm -hmm. smoke because it is buttery and it is creamy. Yeah. But it's that Ecuadorian and the Lajero, um beefs it up. That it's almost like you have to really like uh, a stronger Connecticut type of cigar. Mm -hmm. When I smoke um, normal, normally when I smoke Connecticut's that are from the Dominican region, um, I like something that's really light and smooth and most guys hate what I like. Mm. Oh, it's like smoking air. No, no, not to me. I mean, I love a darker wrapper, but it's just, a Ecuadorian has a distinct taste mm -hmm. and it leaves something on my palate that I don't like and I just can't seem to get past it no matter which one It does resonate a certain metallic-y feel. It does. Almost like Honduran tobacco to me has that metallic nah, taste. I think metal. she just had a bad experience with an Ecuadorian guy. You know what? Well, oh no, I never had Ecuadorian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving along, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I'm getting Honduran, a, a creamy... No. <laughs> I said Honduran. Never mind. Like Y'all missed the joke. It was a joke. Okay. I'm getting a creamy uh, taste out of this so far. I'm, I am getting a little spice through the retro hail so far, so we'll see how it goes. Scott? It is, it, it is definitely creamy, and it's good. you can feel the lajero. You can feel the top of the back of my yeah. throat. It's, and it's not overpowering. It's not really, really, it's medium body, but very mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Paul? I have to 100% <laughs> agree with what Robin said. It's got depth. It is creamy, but it's got a little kick. It's got a lot of character, um, frankly, and I'm surprised. I'm loving it. Well, as for me, it's hard to take away what's already been said. Uh, the creaminess and the little spice at the back of the tongue certainly comes through. Uh, 
what's the retail prices of these cigars? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Robin? <laughs> I can tell you, well, MSRP on, on these cigars is in that uh, Five ninety to seven seven fifty oh, range, depending on the size. Very reasonable. It's in the sweet spot. Very very reasonable. As people in the industry like to say, yeah, there yes. is a, there is a good reasonable sweet spot that you've got your high end guys and you've got your low end guys that are kicking them for you know mowing the lawn or whatever, and then you've got your everyday guys that are it's almost like you're buying lunch every single day when you want to smoke a cigar. Yeah, I can see this one being like an everyday. Yeah, Somebody easy. Goes up. down easy. Yeah, it does. Just a remind, nice breakfast cigar. Just want to remind everybody of our website, which is cccigars.com. Oh, okay. That's uh, what is it? That's, that's double C. C cigars.com. Okay. So that's three C's. The old anvil cars have fallen apart. Mm -hmm. uh, but seriously, go to our website. All our upcoming events, specials, deals, max packs, super savers, everything's on there. I think there's even a coupon on there to get a free cigar. Is there free like cigar that? and 15% off. Free cigar and 50% if you sign up for our email list, which we do, do not sell. We only use it to send to our own, you know, customers and such. So you don't have to worry about getting spam or anything, not from us, ever. Um, you'd write your cigars. Yeah. I know, you know, those of us in the business, we sort of let dry cure sometimes go by the side, but it's around the world. It sells a lot. It does. Tell us a little more about it than I said. So we have one of the top selling small cigar lines, bar none in the world, and it's, it's nice because you're getting them for a great price, uh, especially when you're talking about some of the states uh, that have taxes on, on tobacco. Um, but even, not, even if they're not, there's no middleman involved. So Villiger makes all of their own um, machine-made cigars using really great grade tobacco. Um, you're not getting what some people like to call the, the hot stuff dog. Stuff on the floor. The stuff that <laughs> fell on the floor. These are literally <laughs> products onto themselves. The nothing <laughs> fell on the floor, I guarantee you that. Um, and this year we have a brand new edition with our Export Brazils that come in a, a green wrapper. Um, Henrik Villiger, the owner, actually purchased farms and fields in um, Brazil. Um, where he's coming out with our Tobajara, and I'm sure that's where some of our Brazilian tobacco is coming for the exports as well. Um, exports are a name that's known around the world. They come in the yellow, which is the Sumatra, the brown packaging, which is the Arapica Maduro, and the green, which is the 100% Brazilian. Um, our brand has also been around since the dawn of time. Um, they're a good old brand that, that p pretty much anybody knows and will pick up and smoke. Um, I, I really enjoy the, the machine-made cigars. Uh, most of them are, I believe, made in our factories in Germany, but some of the smaller scale ones are made in our factory in Switzerland as well. So the exciting thing about the company is you're not only getting an opportunity to smoke something small that you can take on the road with you, um, but you also get to experience a little bit of history in the making. Um, because we have all of the new cigars, and uh, this is something that's pr pretty new. I think we've been making cigars now for about seven years, premium cigars on, on the U.S. market. Um, so you, you get an opportunity to have a company that has a lot of history and also that bo boutique brand, those highly sought-after, hard-to-find cigars, which you can find, obviously, here with Cigar Cigars and at your local retailers in the area. Well, during our, our two-week event uh, with you, uh, which Scott will enumerate where and when these uh, wow. events will be held. <laughs> Good luck with that. But all during, <laughs> all during, news to Scott. <laughs> all during the two-week <laughs> period from tonight on, uh, we'll be featuring by any four of the Vilger cigars of the premium cigars, and you'll get two more additional premium cigars for free. So buy four, get two more for free. You pick those up at the counter. Wait, say that you'll again. You'll get those at the counter if you buy four. Of any of the lines, and, and we'll get into what the other lines are. In oh, a minute. okay. So you buy any lines. four of okay. these lines, mm -hmm. you'll get two additional premium cigars for free at the at counter the register. at the register. No. And cool. one other special: oh. we were able to buy. They discontinued a line, what? the uh, Dominicana line. Oh. These cigars were seventy-five to ninety dollars a piece. And what? A box. A box. I'm like, <laughs> what? A piece of box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, I just want to see if you guys were awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you woke us up First now. Cigar, but we crap did I wake you up? Yeah, you woke us up now. Okay. Well, they were 75 to 90 dollars a piece per box. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should run a really great deal on these. What do you think, guys? 
Yeah. yeah. It's the red box. Yeah. Yep. The red yeah. The series of Minicons. We have stopping. we have Robusto and we have Corona, and like I say, they were seventy-five to ninety dollars. What do you think? Thirty. Oop, that was too low. I was gonna say forty-nine. But I'm not a negotiator. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> forty-five. Paul, I'm going forty just to be cheap. Thirty. Not frugal. I'll go lower to no, bang that well, out. We got less than a thousand the boxes senorita left. Senorita should be. 30. So here it goes. Here it goes. A limit ten to a customer, nineteen ninety five. What? Oh, yeah. I told you. Oh come on! I said really? thirty. Nineteen ninety five. You will box not get 25? additional. You will not. No, oh. I think it's a box of twenty. No, no twenty five. Twenty five. Give it to him for nineteen ninety five. Nineteen less than a dollar a cigar. Less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. What? Cigar. Okay, let I it go. I said thirty. I need the tax law. For for a, for a <laughs> great. Well, you're Dominic gonna get it. I need I need deductions. Dominican made Ecuadorian wrapper. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a great cigar. Peruvian a lot of people binder. buy. I mean, they'll sell. We sold a couple thousand boxes already. That's less than that's less than a dollar a cigar. Rob is really upset. Yeah, it's like it's like eighty cents. Eighty cents a cigar. Mm -hmm. so is it like eighty cents or is it eighty cents? It is eighty cents. Exactly for less than cents. the price of one machine-made brand. Yeah, wow. nineteen ninety-five. Out the door that. they go. And that's any size. First oh. come, first serve. Limit ten door customers. Only ten five. boxes. Mm -hmm. Ten boxes. Any size. No wow. dealers, please. And you will not get no dealers and no. There's no additional free cigars for buying these. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't tell us about the events? What about them? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> what about them? Hold on. Let me get out my cheat sheet. Oh, well, he's well prepared. Yeah, he's he's cheap. I put mine under the table or I'd help. Yeah, I thought it wrong was going to be. All right, first event's going to be on Thursday the 22nd in Fraser from Classic. 12 to 3. What? Nothing. <laughs> There's a whole show going on over here. Don't okay. worry about it. <laughs> put the camera is, it, is it better than this one? No. He's just telling me how beautiful I am. Thanks. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> 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 also on the 22nd. When you walk by a mirror. wants to hear that. <laughs> so I'm sorry. fell from 5 to 8. Sorry, Phoenix Philly got cut off. Thursday the 29th, um, this is all January by the way, we're going to be in Freehold from 12 to 3. All right. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and then Oxford Valley 5 to 8, and then the following day, which is the 30th, right here in Horsham from 12 to 3, and then up in Colmar from 5 to 8. What and Robin will be at each event, right? Yes. Yeah. Is that Thursday or Friday? What day is And Thursday? she's going to bring, on top of the deals we're running, She's going to bring a little swag and some extra yep. little We're going to do some raffles. We're going to raffle off some of our samplers. And cool. Maybe good. some That's gift good. packages. Do you have any shirts? I have shirts. Nice. Hat. I have hats. Okay. Half trays and cutters. Car? Maybe cutters. Car. Car. I expect Car. everybody to <laughs> smoke cigars course? to bring their own darn cutters. <laughs> I like Scott's idea. If you don't have a cutter and you're smoking cigars, you got a big problem. Unless you're using your fingernails or your we teeth, I can get that. should raffle up art hats. Oh, we just yeah. like free stuff. I'm not giving up my hat. Not your hat. Hats like art like that. hats. Oh. What about like Paul like hats? They're dumb. <laughs> it's the same hat. Oh. <laughs> it's just the same hat. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. Oh, Scott is in very rare form since coming back. Anyway, yeah, I welcome wish it was back, rarer. Scott. I wish it was welcome rarer. Welcome back. Uh, I want to. I want to <laughs> mention, by the way. Please do. Uh, I miss from, you. Save us. From now on, <laughs> whenever we talk about a particular cigar on the show, and you come into one of the cigar cigar stores looking for it, mm -hmm. you should look for this little display right here, which says, as seen on Cigar Time TV. Thank you, Vanna White. <laughs> and uh, Vanna whatever the, whatever the well. show, uh, whatever the cigar of that week is, it'll be in that display. Wow. Can we call him Vanna White Bread? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Uh, thank, you. You. thank you for that uh, rather illuminating uh, little uh, repartee. Really appreciate that knowledge. Uh, you're not in the fields this week, I understand. Well, I can be. No, no, you don't have to be. You don't have to be. Okay. I Next feel like time. I'm smoking cigars with Indiana Joneses. Yeah, yeah something right. like that. Where's the whip? Good question. Yeah. Under my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You try to keep it a family show. Me. I'm not that bad. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, I guess it's sort of time to rate this cigar. Okay. Hmm. How am I doing? Am I getting everything in? Yes, you do. Oh, good job. Okay. Wow. We didn't rate it yet. We got to talk about it. Yeah, okay, guys, I don't. I don't want to forget to say this. Please like us on Facebook because if we get enough likes, we get an extra scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Not a so laurel. Please word. like us. I beg you, please. <laughs> Tia, bite your tongue. Well, somebody stole the strawberries, though. Oh, uh, uh, okay, so Captain Queeg. That's right. Let's <laughs> see who got that. Yeah, uh, you know I was going to get it. Very nice. Very nice.
where were we? Oh, we're reviewing it. We better, yeah. we better be quick. Go ahead, Scott. These reviews first. have to be short, not long ahead, ones. Scott. On a scale of one to ten, we're, not, are, are we're giving it a number now. You no, no, no. Just a quick talk and then just number. Quick talk. All right. Uh, it is very sweet. Um, it's medium body. Uh, I'm assuming that's from the, the Lajero. Um, I got it. Did I just say sweet or sweet? It's sweet. All right, yeah. I meant to say it's very smooth, but I'm hitting a sweet spot on the cigar. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of nutty. And I'm, I'm very much enjoying the cigar. Mm -hmm. Number? Oh, number? We'll get that later. Get it later. All right, give it later. There isn't well, much we're not going to have later. later. Yes, we are. Get All right. Eight. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm continuing to like it as much as I did when I first lit it up. I think it is a really nicely balanced, creamy, tasty cigar. And it burns beautifully. And it puts out lots of smoke. So I'm going to give it an eight and a half. It does. Burn wow. Okay, it does. I agree with Paul. It does burn beautifully. After getting nice half away, I know, right? <laughs> I love my ashes, by the way. Um, well, we love your ashes. I always yeah. make sure they're too. nice and tight. Family program. <laughs> so, um, anyway, steel. Squats. now that I've gotten halfway through it, I am starting to enjoy the wrapper a little bit more than I did in the beginning. Um, but it's still, again, you know, Ecuadorian is not really my favorite. I do like the way the Lajero is blended in here and the Creole 98. It's very tasty, very smooth and mellow, which is important. Um, so I give it a solid seven. Okay. Rob? I'm enjoying this cigar more than I thought I was. I would. I've smoked them before, and this one's much better. I don't know why. Maybe it's a different crop, maybe this it's a different batch, okay. whatever. Uh, I am getting the smoothness to it. I am getting the nutty taste that, that uh, Scott was talking about. I am getting a little bit of the Lajero, which gives it a little bit, a little bit more of a kick than uh, just a regular mild cigar. I'd have to give it a seven and a half. You smoke this on the golf course all the time? Well, I do not. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit more <laughs> bolder, only because unlike some of my co-panelist uh, here, I take into consideration the price. And the price lifts it up, in my opinion. I give it an eight and a quarter. <coughs> I think it's a solid eight and a quarter, even eight and a half. <laughs> eight would a not embarrass me. Uh, it's a great cigar. 8.38. Don't forget, <laughs> like us on Facebook, ccigars.com. Don't forget to support your neighborhood brick and mortar. Don't forget our 10 stores. It's a lot not to forget, but we'll we run it slowly, and you'll be able to get it. We're also on Twitter and Pinterest, and yeah, we're on there everywhere. We're every, 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 we're everywhere on you want to be. And don't forget, if you're in Horsham and you're in the Horsham Cigar Store, right up the block, a couple paces is Barbecue Barbecue, and that could be you can see the menu and everything at mybarbecuebarbecue.com. And I'm BBQ. sure you know how to spell it. My BBQ. BBQ. Okay, it's time to get out. Right. Time to say goodbye. Stuff. Can you join us next week? We're running out of time. Sure, yeah, I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make it quick, people. All right. It's been a while, but hi, Mom, and life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. You got it right. <laughs> yeah. Keep on smoking. So, listen, Keep on smoking. Sm and smoke happy, smoke often. If you like it, smoke it. Wait, what's it? If you like it, Let's smoke go. it. <laughs> I like that. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. My <laughs> ID is Cigar Goddess, C G A R Goddess. Thank you. Ciao for now, everybody. On behalf of the entire panel, we want to thank Robin very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. And we'll see her again next week. And uh, enjoy the new year. Stay healthy. Live life to the fullest. And we'll see you next week. Oh, yes. Bye-bye.